In this unit we're going to take a look at offsetting elements using the offset tool. Now the offset tool can be found on the modify menu and the modify panel and there we have the offset tool. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Now as soon as I've selected the offset tool the options bar changes to show us the relevant options and we can toggle between offsetting using a graphical method or using a numerical method and I'm going to show you both those and explain the differences between them in this unit. So I'm going to start with the graphical method so we've got the radio button selected for that one. So I, first of all I need to select the element I want to offset in this case I'm going to start with this long wall at the top click to select the wall I now need to click the start point of my offset and then I will click an end point so almost like a displacement exactly the same principle as we saw with the move and copy tools so I'm going to choose a start point on the wall and move a set distance now this is why this is called the graphical method because it's it's graphical in so much as we can see where we're going to offset we can do it by eye we can also type a distance in that temporary dimension there so if we know the exact distance um, we can type it in or we can just do it by eye so as I move the cursor up or down I get to see where that offset is going to be created and another click will create the offset. So that's the graphical method. Just run through that very quickly again with this other section of wall. So select offset, choose graphical or numerical. We'll just stick with graphical for now. Remember graphical allows us to see and dictate where that offset is going to be graphically on screen with the cursor. So select the element you want to offset, click a start point and then click an endpoint to actually create the offset element. The other method of creating an offset was the numerical method. I'm going to show you that now. So remember, modify menu, modify panel, offset. Remember the options bar here. Toggle it over to numerical. Now the numerical method allows you to predefine that offset distance. So let's say we want that to be 1500 mil. Enter 1500 into the offset box there. And now all I need to do is hover my cursor over each element that I want to offset. And you have to be really careful with your, your cursor position here. If I just zoom in a little bit. And you can see if I'm really careful and move my cursor up and down on the object, it toggles which side the offset is actually going to be created. So just, just watch out for that one, that you are indeed creating the offset on the correct side of the original object. So now I can just simply click around my model, creating these offset walls. So in my experience the numerical method is far more useful because generally I would suggest when you're offsetting elements you know how far you want to offset them by so you can predefine that in this box here then it's simply a case of clicking on the element in question and creating the offsets. And that completes this unit. To get the most out of this training material, please take the complete course online at bimscape.com. Here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace. Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point, you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.